Bible says it's Christ in you, the hope of glory. And as God's people, we have to understand the devil wants us broke and broken so that when there's a need, we're not thinking about the need, we're just thinking about ourselves. God wants us whole and prosperous so when there's a need, we see it and we can do something about it. God wants to prosper your life, period. And the only one who wants something bad for you is the devil. So God wants us blessed. And I want to talk about God's no respecter of persons. And I thank God for that. God doesn't love some people more than others. And sometimes when you see a person more blessed than yourself or, or richer than yourself, the devil will even whisper a lie into your mind that says God loves them more. God doesn't love anybody more. than a, he, God adores all of us. But listen, he has created a law by which we can all prosper. It's a law. It's not a principle that may be true for others and not true for some people. It's a law. It's like the law of gravity. It's absolutely true for all people in all time. And it's called the law of sowing and reaping. And the law of sowing and reaping began in Genesis 1. And it goes through the entire Bible. And this is what God said to Adam and Eve in Genesis 1. Verse 28, God blessed them. God said to them, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And God said, see, I have given you every herb that yields seed, which is on the face of all the earth. And every tree whose fruit yields seed, to you it shall be to food. So God, God created Adam and Eve. Listen to what he said to him. There was a garden here. And there's only two people on the earth, okay? Not seven billion, two. And he said, I want you to take dominion over the entire earth, seed. See, seed. See the seed. How am I going to, I've got this big dream in my heart, Pastor Jimmy. How am I gonna accomplish it? See, seed. I want my family to prosper. I want my business to prosper. I want my ministry to prosper. How's that gonna happen? See, seed. You are the product of seed. Because of your mother and father's seed, you sit here right now. All of us are the product of seed. When you leave here and you go eat lunch, you're gonna eat seed. If you eat a hamburger, that's a cow seed. If you go eat chicken, that's a chicken seed. Am I telling the truth? I'm telling you the truth right now. Whatever you eat, you're eating seed. And everything that happens on the earth, whether we realize it or not, is the product of seed, and God is the one who created the law of sowing and reaping, and it works good or bad. In other words, you're always planting seed, whether you realize it or not. I want you in this message to see seed. What God said to Adam and Eve in Genesis 1 is what I'm saying to you right now. God has a plan for your life, and it's gonna be accomplished when you see seed. 